all these poly pads have holes in them. What am I gonna do with that? I'm gonna show you how to fix it and still continue to use it. Coming up. Well, welcome to my office. On this one, it's a real slow leak. So usually bubbles will be coming out of the leak and you'll be able to clearly see them. So we're gonna have to go to audible number two and bring it to the water and see if we can see bubbles coming out from there. So a lot of times it needs a bunch of pressure to show the leak. We folded this one in half, found the leak after a few minutes down by the valve. There's a spot right here with the little bubbles. This one is crazy, it's like a cat got a hold of this one. There's a bunch of tiny little leaks all throughout this area. Found the leak in this one. You need to have a lot of pressure on your pads a lot of times. Another product that's great to have in your pack is this Aqua Seal Plus UV. So it dries in 30 seconds, and this is awesome for poly pads, because all you need to do, put it on, quarter inch around the hole, spread it out with a dauber, or the tip. Put the cap on right away, and let the sun cure it, and then it's, it dries in 30 seconds to a minute. It's been about a minute, and it's already almost dry. It's later on in the day, so there's not as much sun on it. All of these yellow dots are where there's a hole in this pad. But you have to have a lot of pressure to even find these holes right here. I had to really clamp down on the pad and put a whole bunch of pressure to even find them. I'm just gonna spread the glue around these holes here and just patch it that way. So this pad right here was doing well until my son was playing with a hammer. And you know what happened from there. Like it just fell down on the pad somehow and the corner of the claw part of the hammer went ahead and then ripped a nice hole in it as it was inflated. So I cut a patch as best around the corners so it doesn't peel up as easily from the corners. At least a half an inch wider. And then what I picked up was this Aqua Seal FD, mainly used for uh, neoprene waders and, and things like that. But it's a great flexible seal. And I use that on, on other things as well. So I clean the area with acetone. Let's put some of this on. And enough glue on there so it can spread out this one takes eight to 12 hours. So with a bigger tear like this, it's better to have a patch. With small pinholes, all you need is basically a dab of glue over it, and that'll be just fine. And you wanna make sure you have enough glue so as it soaks into the fabric, you have enough glue to spread out to the rest of the patch. So we'll let that dry overnight 
inflate it, double check it, sleep on it for a night, make sure there's no other leaks, and we'll be good to go. So we put our patch on there, and it's still not holding air. So we want to double check the valves. The valves are a big deal, because if you can't fix those, most of the time the poly patch is gone. So this next one to find was extremely tough, and it only happens when you're squeezing on it really hard. There's a few other ways that you can patch these. I've used Gorilla Glue and a piece of nylon parachute. So a lot of different ways work, but this one's worked for me. So keep surviving. We'll see you on the next one.